beats rushing, doing huge damage, nice bailing shots, actually going for the SCVs, getting all destroyed, hitting their orbital command, not taking it down. And a great trade here by Fresh. Now the supplies are dead even. 79 to 77. Kang is still slightly just one harvester ahead. Now Fresh actually pulling forward in the harvester tab. So Tang not doing the damage that he should be doing. And this just goes to prove you guys you do not try and bust a sieged up Terran. That will not happen. This command center will get repaired at this point. And what will Tang tr transition into? He is getting his third base. This should be up and running by now. And really, what will Tang do at this point? He is producing one more, tr one more queen, not t using lair tech as of yet. Throwing down an evolution chamber somewhere in his base, double evo chamber actually. Gonna get those upgrades. Will he go for melee or ranged attack? I think melee would be a better choice because it will transition into brood lords and ultralis way better he should actually be throwing down his infestation pit at this point and really this siege position by the Terran player will be unbustable by Tang so he will have to wait for the Terran to take his third base or just move out to his base and really this should be also uh, spreading his creep towards his third base actually Tang now ahead in harvesters 59 to 49 harvesters still not mining gas at his third base he did uh, take the lead in the base count and one thing that is great again again uh, by Tang's aggression from Tang's aggression is that he has complete map control there is no way that the Terran player can actually push out without being in so much danger this, these two early pushes, uh, the first one did do huge damage, the second one actually enabled um, Tang to just macro up behind it, even though he lost a lot of supply, he is now re-macroed up, these tanks will siege up in position of these roaches, Tang not paying attention, he will lose all these roaches for nothing, he is pulling them back. These lings are gonna join the roaches going back home and the very slow push by Fresh, getting a nice position to enable him to actually get his third base. The Overlord is spewing creep there, so Fresh will have to deal with this before landing his third base. Tang has one huge force though, massing up a lot of roaches, 56 to 54 harvesters. So Fresh actually did catch up here. And still, do we see any kind of tech from Tang? He, Tang, he is getting his infestation pit. It is now done. He is not researching anything from it. Small engagement here, going to be forced to actually pull back, losing a few roaches for nothing. Tang is really throwing away a lot of units in this game, but his aggression has maintained the Terran player on two bases. The Terran player still hasn't dealt with this Overlord. I wonder what he's thinking right now. He should really t just send two marines down here to take care of this he is gonna send two marines precisely to take care of this finally gonna <laughs> finally realizing that his third base has not landing yet, landed yet this overlord will be chased away now pathogen gland as well as infestors coming out for tang these will be so good against this marine blob as well as dealing with drops they are going to be very effective this fourth base will get denied by these drops look they are positioned to actually go there he reroutes them for the third base and he is in danger of losing this inf infestation fit this would be huge he really has to react right now and uh, this will be a double push he Fresh will be pushing out the front of the base as well as producing this drop. These marines not doing the damage they should be doing. Actually, this infester in danger of going down. He does go down before being able to use his fungal growth. And these marines could have actually killed a lot more workers. Didn't focus down a single worker. He just got the queen and lost a few marines. So not the best drop here by the Terran player. Moving a handful of marines forward with the tank support. This is a very slow push by the Terran player. Tank could actually flank by running his lings up here, up this path, and he is just going to go for a straightforward cleanup. He's infested his nice fungal growth, growth, locking the marines in place, and he will be able to clean this up quite easily. That is just so many roaches following this up. And really, Tang managing to actually clean out this army. The Terran player just now getting his third base. He should focus down this tank though because it is doing so much damage at this point. He might be able to finish this off. These roaches focusing down the tank at this point. Will it go down? 
It does go down in exchange for the last four roaches. Uh, Tang amassing up more army here, and this is not going to do much. I think Tang will be expecting this. He will actually be looking for that fourth base. He will find it. No, he is still going to reroute it to the third base. Tang should be able to actually deal with this pretty easily. Will Fresh actually target down the infestation pit? He is looking to kill this overlord. Not the best choice. If he gets this infestation pit, that could be huge. The Tang will be able to clean this up. These fungal growths will be able to clean up the rest of these of these medevacs and dropping single marines at a time to actually detonate the banelings. Nice decision by Fresh. If he's going to lose everything, might as well do as much damage as he can while losing everything. So four drops completely denied. The four medevacs did get out though, and this medevac with only 9 HP. The third base is now up for Fresh, uh, throwing down a fourth bo base at this point. Tang still not going for Hive Tech, transferring drones towards his fourth base. He is going to try and lock down this position between the two bases just so that the drops will be that much less effective. And uh, Fresh actually sieg sieging up the center of the map. Only two siege tanks here, so this could be huge. Nice attack by Tang. Only two siege tanks won't be able to clean this up. Banelings will go after the Marines. That is just so many Roaches, though. Roaches are fairly good against Marines. He should really focus down these tanks or narrow parasite them. He does not have narrow parasite research just yet. That is just so many roaches at this point. This planetary fortress will not go down, but Tang could just move forward and take out these two more tanks, pulling SCVs to actually deal with these roaches. Has to focus down the tanks at this point. The tanks are crucial. They are doing so much damage. They do have. They don't have plus one damage, but they do do 60 damage against these roaches. That is just huge. Tang. Pushing forward with exclusively roaches, and now we're going to do even more damage. He has killed 47 harvesters at this point, and I don't know if the turn player will be able to come back from this game. It is now 69 to 22 harvesters. Hank could just mass up roaches and take down the rest of this. Meanwhile, he did throw down a fungal growth or some infested terns down here. I did not catch that, but nice multitasking by Tang, and he is looking in a commanding lead at this point. This medevac still chindling up here by the third base. He will engage once again with the roaches against the marines, and remember, roaches are actually fairly good against marines. If you can mass up a lot of roaches, they deal with marines fairly easily. These lings, these banelings are actually going to detonate on the SCVs, not on the time tier fortress. I do think there was enough here with the roach support to actually kill the planetary fortress. These <laughs> infestors will go down without doing any damage. More roaches going to be streaming in here. Only a single tank up. And these infestors should actually be able to clean this up fairly easily with some nice fungals. And a second fungal will be able to just clean this up. That is a lot of medevacs with a lot of energy actually will be able to actually heal these marines and finish up all the roaches from Tang. So Tang actually losing his entire army but should be able to remax fairly easily. Seven roaches and six infestors on the way in addition to his force already. And the Terran player is now almost exclusively mining with mules. He has only 13 harvesters, most of them in gas at the, for at the first base. Uh, two of them in the deep red, three of them in the deep red at this point, and Tang once again going to be pushing forward into the Terran army, and really this is a great decision by Tang, if he can keep trading armies like this, he will mine out of the Terran, fresh GG's out of here, and Tang takes this game, this very back and forth game, and hopefully you guys like this, I will be uploading it to YouTube later on, so look for that later.